This video will walk you through how to change the diaphragm on a Mudsucker 3FA series diaphragm pump. You must ensure that the pump is not connected to any power sources while conducting maintenance. The first step is to remove the 5 16 inch cap screws that hold the guard to the upper body. Now, remove the pump guard. You should now be ready to remove the four half inch cap screws that connect the upper body to the lower body. It is generally easier to use an air gun to perform this task, but a half inch wrench will do. Now, secure a harness to the gearbox if using a chain hoist and unbolt the upper body and lower body. If you are doing this manually, you will need at least one other person to help you remove the gearbox assembly. Next, remove the 3 8 inch cap screw from the bearing rod end. Remove the steel washer and the front thrust washer. Now, slide the bearing rod end off the crank arm shaft. Make sure you remove the rear thrust washer. Next, remove the three half inch cap screws to separate the clamping plates. Now, loosen the 7 8 inch locking nut. You remove the pump rod by unscrewing the rod from the clamping plate. You are now ready to remove the clamping plates from the diaphragm. Simply discard the old diaphragm and put the clamping plates aside. We are now ready to replace the diaphragm. Place the new diaphragm above the lower clamping plate. Place the top clamping plate on top of the new diaphragm. You'll want to make sure that the bolt holes are correctly oriented with the lower plate. You're now ready to install the three half inch cap screws and lock washers. Consult your owner's manual for the correct torque setting. Next, reinstall the pump rod, ensuring that the shorter thread count is connected to the clamping plate. Screw the 7 8 inch nut onto the lower end of the pump rod. Reinstall the pump rod by screwing the rod in until it bottoms out into the clamping plate. Now, tighten the 7 8 inch nut. Make sure to consult your owner's manual for the correct torque setting. You're now ready to install the upper 7 8 inch nut onto the pump rod. Now, press fit a new needle bearing into the rod end. Ensure that the hole in the needle bearing is aligned with the grease hole on the bearing rod end. For the most secure fit, use a press to insert the needle rod into the bearing rod end. You should now be ready to screw the bearing rod into the 7 8 inch pump rod. Be sure to install a new bearing sleeve into the needle bearing. You'll also want to install a new grease nipple into the top of the bearing rod end. Place the new diaphragm assembly on the pump body, placing close attention to the alignment. Reassemble the upper and lower housing and your 3FA series should be ready to go. For more maintenance tips, visit us at wastecorp.com or contact us at 1-888-829-2783.